Get There's the, ignorant Jamaicans. <laughs> I'm not African, bro. I'm Jamaican. I was born in Yad. So why would we then claim just African culture? What's well, going on, everybody? Welcome to our next episode of Talk the Things podcast. And today we're going to be talking about why Jamaicans don't like to be called africans and i'm not talking about a person looking at us and see our black skin and mistaking us for african people but when we tell them that we're from jamaica and they will respond with well isn't that just african you guys are just african people they're saying no we're not so we're going to go into all of that we all know that jamaicans are descendants of slaves about 98 percent of us we came from africa we came from africa sorry and we were slave and we came in 1513 by the spanish people that brought us first before the english people started doing it that was about 1622 i believe so in 1513 they came with the first set of african people and that's where the population of jamaica started to really become all black because they kill off the Tayuno you know them and those people were there's literally like none of them left i think maybe like a couple hundred but they wiped them out of the place and we were slave till about 18 1838 and in between that time they brought about two million to three million slaves so that is where the population of modern day jamaica comes from so when you hear african people say well aren't you guys just african in a way yes but also no you're Please. jamaican right Oh We're God, African. here we go. I know you're, you're trying to take it There's there. ignorant Jamaicans. <laughs> I'm not African, bro. I'm Jamaican. I was born in Yad. I mean... There you go. You got you there. I'm mean, not African. You got you there. So as you guys just heard, you know, um, a lot of people... When we say we're not Africans, they try to come back and say that we're ignorant. We all know that we are descendants of Africans. We are black. So it's not mis we're not mistaken. We all know that. But as you guys heard me in the beginning of the video say, we came in 1513 and we got released in 1838. So between all of that time and all the time from 1838, from when we were free people till now, you guys are going to still consider us African people like we have not built our own identity, our own talk, and haven't diverted from our African ways when we first came, like, what the hell, five, six hundred years ago? And even though it's been that long of a time, there's no denying our African heritage in the way we speak. It's very similar to Nigerian pidgin, Jamaican patois. For instance, they say picking, we say pickney, both means children, kids. Jamaican folk music with our drums and certain religion that come out of Jamaica, like Rastafari and, you know, that's very heavily, heavily Ethiopian um, inspired with Ethiopian Christian Orthodox from Haile Selassie. The way we dress from when we first came and the way the fabrics, them and the head ties, even how people dress in the revival church, it's very African. You know, it, there's no denying our African heritage. But as a people, as a nation, we have created our own identity. And a lot of Jamaican people don't like that because we created such a distinct culture that has um grew its own its own wings you can see like yeah we come from africa but we are we are a different people we don't identify with our ancestors from 600 years ago to say that oh if, if a person asks you where you come from you're gonna go say ghana when it's not true we were born in jamaica and as far back as some of us can even count our family was born on that land so for us to say that we're not you know, like, what would we say that we are? You know what I mean? Three minute video, so he won't be able to hear what he said. But he was basically saying that all the Jamaican people that say that they're not African. So, for example, if you go to a Jamaican person and said, what are you? Be like, oh, I'm Jamaican. Be like, oh, no, you're African. Because, you know, you're black. Be like, no, I'm Jamaican because we don't fully identify with African people. That word, they're just ignorant. And let me explain why I disagree with this statement. Obviously, we know that we are of African descent. But if you know the history of Jamaica, you know that its people are not just the descendants of the enslaved Africans that came. Our motto in Jamaica is out of many one people. This is so because of the history of Jamaica. People that you see in Jamaica now are the descendants of, yes, the enslaved West Africans that were brought here. The slave owners themselves from Britain and elsewhere. Indentured laborers that came from India and China. The Tainos that lived in Jamaica before anybody else got there. The Irish that came at some point, I don't remember if it's indentured laborship, indentured laborship as well, but the Irish came as well. So our people here 
melting pot mixture of all those different people that came to Jamaica at different times for different reasons. For Jamaican people in general to now just claim Africa, just African, doesn't make any sense. Or culture is not just influenced by West African culture. Bits and pieces of our culture that we see in Jamaica right now are taken from these different people that came here. And they didn't just live separately. They may have started all that way, but they intertwined, they intermixed, they had different, they had babies together, they mixed cultures together, households are mixed. So the people are mixed. And I don't want anybody looking at me and be like, mixed? Jamaica people not mixed, we're black. That's not what I mean. Ancestry wise, we are mixed. So we're not going to identify with just West African culture. So why would we then claim just African culture? You're also making the assumption that everybody in Jamaica is of West African descent. Most of us are, of course, because the population was mostly slaves. Um, but other people are not. Another thing as well is that we, personally, and I'm sure a lot of other Jamaican people put in the comments if you agree, don't know much about African culture. We know the bits and pieces that are, inter that are intertwined in Jamaican culture right now, of course. We know that where it's from, yeah. But African culture, and I know that there's many different subsets of African culture because it's a big continent, right? But especially West Africa, because that's where most of the slaves came from that came to Jamaica. We don't know anything about that. We don't know anything about the culture back in Africa. So why do we then claim to be African? I am of West African descent, yes, but I'm also of Scottish descent, right? Someone else may be of Indian descent and West African descent. Some another Jamaica may just be Indian and Chinese. You don't know point we don't say that we're african because we're not just african and saying that we're african deletes the rest of our ancestry and history i just want to repeat the question are you jamaican or african the question in and of itself is inherently flawed and reeks of bad faith because one jamaica is a country and africa is a continent secondly when that question are you jamaican or are you african is asked the question is not about a ancestry it's about a present day identity Jamaicans are very much aware and claim their African ancestry. Any claiming the modern state of Ghana, claiming that the majority of enslaved Jamaicans came from the Gold Coast. While others lay claim to the modern state of Nigeria, claiming terms such as Red Evo and words like Uno being their rationale. And there's even a few who cite Sierra Leone as their ancestral place of origin due to the fact that many enslaved Jamaicans actually were sent back to Sierra Leone and the similarity between Jamaican Patois and Sierra Leone Creole. So you guys heard those two videos I played and with one of what, what, what one of them are saying in it that's so true is that our motto is out of many there's one. So when you say oh well, all Jamaican people are just Jamaican people are from Africa, that's not that's not that's not true because there was indentured slave from India. There were um so much other race, Chinese, Syrian, Lebanese. Now these are countries, but like Japanese, there were so much different people that migrated to jamaica that made jamaica the way it is now even though 98 percent of the population is um black and i believe that when they're saying that oh jamaicans don't know they're africans or don't like to that's not true we all know we're africans and i believe that they're directing that to the black jamaicans but we have an identity of our own we have created our own stuff we have different struggles we have different lifestyles different almost not everything but we are different complete people and when we came from africa and all that time from between they never came back to jamaica to try rescue us and bring us back or nothing of the sorts you know what i mean like we fought our own thing we became our own people we had our own liberation so for them to say that you guys are just african people it's like they're trying to take away from who we are and even though that's not what they might mean that's what it comes off to when you tell a person and their whole family line up to 600 years was born on that land and they identify with that nation and you tell them oh well no you're not jamaican you're just you're just african people no we're just jamaican people we're not just african yes our ancestors from how fucking long ago yeah 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 but like we're talking about now where you're talking to a person in 2024 not 15 15 two years after we were taken from sleeve you know what i mean so no you wouldn't you know what i mean um the next thing is that you wouldn't go to nepal and tell them oh you guys are just chinese people excuse you they're nepalian people you wouldn't go to nobody in Trinidad and just say, oh, you guys are just Indian. They've created their own culture. They've created their own way of life. They went through their own problems that made them who they are now. And to and they're like, it's just, I don't, I don't, I don't like that. You know what I mean? I I, I don't like that. But we have created our own identity. 
that is separate from a Nigerian. We don't eat like Nigerians. We might use local plantain and okra, that's the same. But Nigerian food and Jamaican food is complete night and day. You go to um, Ghana and find haki, but in, in in Ghana, they don't eat it. They just leave it and root. Like, you know, like in Canada, those berries that grow in the bush and we just leave them and they drop on the ground and roll in the street and nobody don't pick them up, nobody don't cook them. That's how they deal with haki down there. Haki came to Jamaica, which is Jamaica's national dish, haki and selfish. The haki came from Ghana. So in no way and will we deny our African. We go to school. We know where we came from we know we're black we know you know what i mean um i even did a video talking about afrobeats and dance hall and in that video i put a clip of a lady that lived in south africa i believe who said that she genuinely believed that jamaica was in africa she never knew because that's the relation we have with our african brother and sister we are one we did come from them but at the same time we are our own people like i said with the Nepalian people earlier in the video you know what i mean um you wouldn't go to an Apollyan person and say, oh, you guys are just Chinese because their ancestors came from how long we are back and suck up on the land and mix with the Hindi and them. They became their own people. Same thing with Jamaica. So um, you guys let me know what you think about this Jamaican people who, I know you guys seen it going around. Let me know what you think about it. I already said what I think about it. I don't like it. You know what I mean? I don't have a problem with me calling an African because we are African people. That's not no secret. Africans are our brother, our sister, our mother, and our auntie. But we as Jamaicans have became our own people where in modern day time, if you ask a person where they're from, we're going to tell you Jamaica. We're not going to say, oh, we're just Africans because we're not even in that continent, on that side of the world. That's just not where we're from. You know what I mean? Let me know what you think about this and we'll see you next time on Talk The Things Podcast. Hey girl, you can't tell me my mama Why not you check it out? Brand new man and nuts Fine by me, I hope you Fine up in this smoke you Enjoy it and when things don't work I hope you don't call me but come No, no fool, don't need you And in my table, I'm a if you're planning an event from now until the end of March, I have great news. Tree Bills Food is offering 30% off caterings and 15% off box food. Enter promo code MEHUNGRY at the end of your order to receive the discount. Once again, the promo code is MEHUNGRY, M-I-H-U-N-G-R, all caps.